This week was the most productive week for the Missouri Senate so far. We perfected six bills ranging in topics of public safety to speed limits for agricultural trailers. One of the first bills we perfected, Senate Bill 754, which was an ominous public safety bill that included language titled Blair's Law, which specifies that a person commits the offense of unlawful discharge of a firearm if he or she recklessly discharges a firearm within or into the limits of a municipality, and Max's Law, which enhances the offense of assault on a law enforcement animal. Senate Bill 736 would assist small businesses and farmers by increasing the total amount the state treasurer is permitted to invest in the link deposit program called MOBUX. This program allows small businesses and farmers to receive reduced interest rate loan from participating banking institutions who partner with the treasurer's office. Senate Bill 802 establishes the Missouri Rural Access to Capital Act offering a tax credit for investments in rural businesses. Investors in a rural fund may receive a tax credit over six years, starting with 0% for two years and rising to 15% for the following four. The Department of Economic Development will oversee applications and monitor compliance with investment requirements with provisions for recapturing tax credits if the criteria isn't met. Senate Joint Resolution 71, a bill that I filed and that I'm sure you've heard me speak about at some point or another, is a fix to the Missouri Sheriff's Retirement Fund. Senate Bill 1039 establishes the Missouri Geospatial Advisory Council to assist and advise the state in ensuring the availability, implementation, and enhancement of the statewide geospatial data infrastructure. Lastly, Senate Bill 1298 would increase the 40 mile per hour limit on cotton trailers to 65 mile per hour. And as discussed when I started, this was the perfection of these six bills. Hopefully at the beginning of next week, we get to the point where we finally read these bills in the Missouri Senate. And if they pass, then they move over to the House to start that process on their side of the Capitol. Despite increased activity on the floor, of the Missouri Senate, committees still held regular hearings throughout the week. Appropriations heard testimony from the Department of Public Safety, Department of Social Services, State Treasurer, and the Lieutenant Governor regarding their fiscal year 25 budget. The Senate General Laws Committee, Veterans Military Affairs and Pensions Committee, and Government Accountability Committee heard and voted on bills related to their areas of expertise after input from the public.